Roscoe Pico Trango, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that was kind of horrible, but we're rolling with it. Let's get on topic. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's Thomas with Get Out Arizona, and you are watching another great episode of Bicycle Showcase here on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host, Brandon Van Leuven. Brandon, how the hell you doing, buddy? Oh, hi. Just to let you guys know, I've gotten the name of this bike wrong several times. <laughs> Even though when we were out there bringing it back here, I got it right the first time. So what are you going to do? I blame it on the head trauma, not the alcohol. Um, so as you might have surmised from the intro, um, and then again, maybe not because it was kind of gay. Um, <laughs> we're talking about the Roscoe, specifically the Roscoe 6 today in the bike showcase. And this is an interesting line of bikes from Trek. This one is a 27. Um, 27 plus. 27 plus, and they do make a 29. It's an entry level, but then they make a high-end one. Brandon, this bike they is all over things. the map. It is. That's a perfect way of putting it, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, and, and the way the reason we say that is, so this is a bike, this is it happens to be the Marlin 6. It's still at a great price point for an entry level rider. Okay. Or even someone who's new to the sport. Because this is about eleven $1 hundred dollars. What we're looking at right now. Correct. Okay. So if I can get somebody, sorry to say, out of a Marlin, which is like the best yeah. selling bike in the world. It's Trek's version of a Walmart bike. If I can get them out of that <laughs> bike and get them into a Roscoe, they're gonna have a ton more fun. Right. This but this um this platform is so much more capable with the plus size wheels and it really does a new rider favors. It's a smaller wheel, 27.5 plus size. It's going to get them through a lot of stuff, especially here, sand, the rocks, the, yeah. the deep stuff, the washes. It's going to get them through that and help them. They're going to have more fun. They're going to want to stick with the sport. It's it's a great place to start. If you, if I can get you up into that, if you're willing to spend a little more to have a little more experience, if you're trying to figure it out, Roscoe is the way to go. Okay. Flip side of that is I can still get someone who's been riding bikes for 20, 30 years, get them on a Roscoe 8, Roscoe 9, it's almost a $3,000 bike, yeah. but they're going to have a kick-ass time on that bike because it might be so different from their dual suspension cross-country bike that they're, yeah. they're so used to riding. It's, it's a different experience. It's, it's fun. So the bike really caters to a wide range of riders for sure. Okay. Well, and then, oh, no, that's great, um, number one. Um, and number two, I mean, just even making some observations, closer observations of this. You know, it's already ready to go for racks. You can't put a rack here on the back. Um, so if you wanted to do, I don't want to necessarily say commuting, but maybe some some day trip, not necessarily yeah. bike oh, packing, sure. but you know day trip or even a quick overnight bike packing trip, you can do that. Absolutely. With an added rack, um, I know on my Timberjack I got 29 plus, and it does make a difference on the ride. I can feel the difference between that and my rail. Granted, one's full suspension, one's hardtail, but even just in in the way it rides with the, the plus tire. So you're right. Absolutely right as far as to the soft stuff. And the you know the flip side to those 27.5, they're fun, they're playful. They are, they are playful. They're not the fastest thing. They're not, they're not uh, as efficient as the 29 plus, which is where Roscoe's going right. in the future. We're yeah. gonna get a lot less uh, availability. The 27.5 plus is gonna go 29, except for one model, the Roscoe 6. Um, it's gonna be more like a stash, if you remember the stash. Roscoe's kind of evolving in, into that. Um, There's some people on Craigslist that like to think that their stash bikes are a pot of gold, but I'm here to tell you guys, they ain't. That's like Fleetwood Rack of Rumors. You find them for 99 cents at the record store. <laughs> Joking. That's my rant for the show. Um, okay, so, um, you know, $1,100, you know, plus tax. And I'm, I'm noticing, again, I've already pointed out, you got already for the racks. Disc brakes, are these mechanical or hydraulic? Those are hydraulic. Hydraulic, okay. Now, um, Shimano cassette, and we're talking 11, so it's a one by 11. This is a one by 10 one on this one. One by 10, This okay. is our entry level. Because it's a six. Yes, this is our but entry But a seven, level. eight, nine is gonna have a one by 11 or one by 12. Oh yeah, going okay, to going needle, or uh, I think maybe if you go to the nine, you might even be able to get an XT drivetrain. Oh, I okay. think, I think. think. Now, what drivetrain, this obviously a Shimano drivetrain, is just, just Dior? That's a Dior. Okay, yep. so we've got a dropper post, which is nice. Which is actually something on a six that, on that eleven hundred dollar bike. It's great. Yeah, yeah, because the um, dropper post. Um, the Excalibur Eight doesn't even have a dropper post. That was a that was a ridge post. So yeah, it's a nice little addition yep. as far as that goes. Where that money savings is going, there's a couple of spaces. This fork. Yeah, leaves a bit. The fork. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's it's design. a coil fork. It's not an air fork. Right. 
what do you want for 1100 bucks right. bottom bracket leaves a bit to be desired we're still using a square taper bottom bracket it's cool that person who's going to buy this bike is not going to care about that stuff yet right. they want to have fun they want to see if they like the sport and I've kind of pushed them into this bike a little bit, so that, <laughs> to be honest, but for their own good. Right. For their and, own good. And granted, with some customers, you do have to lead them yeah. sometimes. <laughs> but once I think they get a little into it more and do a little more reading, they'll find out that there are some definitely upgradable parts yeah. on this bike. But um, my goal is just to have them have a kick-ass time first before we start talking <laughs> Yeah, drop about six, upgrades. seven thousand, yeah. Yeah, yep. Um, so, aluminum? Aluminum. Hydroform? It is hydroform aluminum. Okay, so Absolutely. we got the hydroform and everything done. like that. Um, very good. Um, you know, water bottles, if you're so inclined there. Um, obviously, you can swap out the pedals to your liking. And all joking aside, we're talking $1,200, and you're talking upgrades. This is still a very viable platform. You can change out the front suspension yes. to oh. an air. You can upgrade that group to, you know, XT, go a, a 1x11 or 1x12 cassette on the rear. Um, there's a lot of different upgrades you can <clears throat> make to this because you are, and we've said this before many times, you're starting out with a great foundation. This isn't a throwaway bike by any means. No. no. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. You know, when we say entry-level bike, and this is what you're getting into as you start getting into the sport and, and, and falling in love with the sport of mountain biking, this is still has relevance. It's, it's like buying a camera, you know. I use my Sony a7R3. That was fall of 2017. It's still a workhorse today. It's still very relevant. So you don't need to worry about this. Just as things break, you upgrade. You replace and upgrade at the same time. So you absolutely can do that. It's a it's an upgradable <coughs> platform. I I think um, if you're looking at the the lower end, uh, Roscoe's notice that one dirty trick they do to you. They don't give you tubeless ready tires. Yeah, I, I hate that. that. Yeah, it's I feel of, so well, bad, but you know, wear them out. Go to a bus uh, as soon as you as soon as, soon you, as you kill out. these guys. Yeah. Now, even though the, this comes with a 27 rim, is that it? Are you are you done? You can't put a 29 rim on here if you wanted to. Is the, will it even accept that? I don't know. Okay. Comment down below. <laughs> We've stumped Brandon. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look like it. It looks like that shock is going to be the fork are running out of room. Yeah. It might be tight in the back. Yeah. I'm just curious. Because some people might be curious. So I'm going to ask I'm going to say no. Okay. But. Now, if you know the answer to that question, yes. guys, seriously, chime in down below. You know, we love to hear from you. We're an interactive channel. Um, sizing. Small, medium, large, extra I large. I want to say, if we want to go back to that, I want to say that the old uh, stash chassis, the stash came with 29er plus. Right. And you could put 27 fives on if you wanted to. Okay. You mess with the geometry a little bit, but you could do that on the stash. I don't think you can reverse it. Can't do it, it on the Roscoe. The gotcha. Again. So, comment again. down below. Oh, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, so sizing, small, medium, large, extra large? Uh, and I think in some cases, I don't know if you're going to get it for 2022, you can get a double X. Double X. Okay. Um, well, good. So at least there's a full size range. Now let's talk availability. That's always a big question with the viewers. Availability. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. We're okay. looking, uh, if you want to get a 2022 Roscoe, 29 plus, uh, December of 22. Wow. We're talking 11 months, dude. The Roscoe 9 2025. I don't know why it shows that. <laughs> I don't know if the world's going to be here in 2025. And I think it might, honestly, it might just be an arbitrary thing just, just to let people just know that they're out, out there, there and yeah. that just, just wait for it. Um, but the availability is, <laughs> okay. is, is tough. They're ridiculous. If you have that. patience and you really want one, get your name on one now. Yeah, definitely make the some, deposit. Put some money on down. It, it's it's going to be a very high demand bike. And we've seen Stranger Things. I mean, stuff roll in that we didn't think was going to roll in. I mean, that's how I got Betty. Yeah. <laughs> I just showed up one day. So, um, you never know. All right. So, if you can get your hands on one, man, you can't, you can't him and haw. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I know. We tell people that at the camera shop all the time, too. If it comes in, jump on it. So, um, guys, well, there you have it. So, this is a great entry level bike for someone who either has the Marlin and they're looking to step up for a little bit more money or has a little bit more money to spend but doesn't want to jump in, you know, both feet first as far as that goes. Yeah. Good way of putting it. Yeah, great way to start out. Upgradeability, good foundation. This is something you can keep, you know, to ride around the paths and park and everything like that as you, you know, spend that big coin on another bike, you know, and have there's nothing wrong with having more than one bike, guys. <laughs> We're guilty of it, so for sure. Um, 
So yeah, there you have it, and a great value, an exceptional value. And again, we get twelve hundred dollars, eleven hundred dollars, but you know, twelve hundred with tax and everything like that. So people are like, yeah, that really isn't that inexpensive. For a lot of people, it's not, and we understand that. But the uh, alternative is spending, you know, six, seven hundred dollars on a knockoff Walmart brand that's got a horrible warranty on the parts and the frame and everything, and and probably won't be able to upgrade anything. So. Um, Pick your poison. Uh, you can pay now or you can pay on down the road. So it's up to you as far as that goes. So, all right. Well, there you have it, guys. Another great episode of Bicycle Showcase. I thought it was a great episode. Brandon, did you think it was a great episode? Yeah. I thought it was. It was just halfway there. Yeah. Now, to be honest with you guys, we're kind of running out of bikes. Not because we don't have <laughs> not bikes to talk about. We just haven't been getting bikes in to talk about. And so um, here in the coming weeks, you might not see some of these. Uh, definitely, we'll find other the other things to fill the, the vacancy, the, the opening and the slot. Um, and as they come in, we'll definitely keep you posted on any new uh, new new bikes, new models, anything like that as far as we go. So, a couple things. Hit that like, the subscribe, and the bell notification icon down below, please. It helps out the channel. It helps out the video. And you're going to be informed every time we post a new video. Bike Showcase, Toolbox Topic garage talk trail video um and it's you know what you do uh secondly there's going to be a link down below for trek bicycle stores of west phoenix where the cool kids hang out and me and if you have any questions about what you've seen today or on any of the videos um and you know there's index cards throughout this video for the different um ones that we do follow that link give them a call they'll be more than happy to help you out um if you want to see this bike there's currently just one available here at the store <laughs> <laughs> um, you can come on down, check it out. You never know. Um, they still might have it in stock. This one's a large. This one's an extra large. Extra large. Okay. For a big so, boy. Yep. So if you're around 5'11", maybe 5'10". Taller than that. Taller. Probably 6 two. Really? For yeah. an extra large? 6'2 or so. Oh, yeah, okay. I thought the extra large started about 5'11". Okay. Well, there you have it. If you're tall and you couldn't make the basketball team, this bike might be for you. Um, come down. Give a look. Um, you know, Brandon or one of the guys would be more than happy to, to let you demo this um, out in the front area. So... Uh, links for social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I know it's the devil's work, but it has to be done. Follow those. You keep up on the day-to-day -day events of Get Out Arizona. Uh, group rides, group hikes, all kinds of fun stuff. And then, of course, we have the affiliate links down below. I have to let you know they're affiliate links because if you follow one of those and you make a qualifying purchase, we get a small commission, and it helps us with coffee, gas, and park passes, which is important. Gas is expensive. It's still expensive. What everybody does. I don't oh, even gas look. Price go. Yeah, I, do. I don't even look. Close your eyes. I <laughs> Put your head down on the pillow and just hope for the best. No, I'm joking, guys. It's a kids show for Christ's sake. So, there's no pillows here. <laughs> Come on. All right. So before this goes completely off the rails and into the dumpster and catches on fire, we're gonna call it a wrap. But before we do, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on the trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out of Arizona. Yeah. We'll see you guys on that next adventure. Brandon, thank you so much. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Take care, everybody.